Now, India's first ever space-based Aditya L1 has successfully completed its four-month-long journey. The probe has been inserted into a halo orbit at the Lagrange 1 point under commands of the Indian Space Research Organization. Launched on 2nd of September on board a PSLV rocket, the craft has been on a long journey to a vantage point in space. The Aditya L1 will neither land on the sun nor approach the celestial body. It will be placed in a unique vantage position known as Langrage point one. It is a location in space where the gravitational forces of two celestial bodies, the Sun and Earth, are in equilibrium. PM Modi has uh, congratulated the Indian Space Agency for its uh, momentous success on placing the nation's first solar observatory in orbit. The Union Minister of State for Science and Technology, Dr. Jitinder Singh, also tweeted, and said that the success of the mission marks a glorious turn of year for India. Now, since its last firing a few months ago, the Aditya L1's liquid apogee motors have been placed in a hibernation mode. Owing to the chilly space environment, the motors will immediately fire for a predetermined amount of time and carry out the move precisely as instructed by ISRO. The mission probe will now study coronal mass uh, ejections, a periodic phenomenon that sees huge discharge of plasma and magnetic energy from the sun's atmosphere. These bursts are so powerful they can reach the earth and potentially disrupt the operations of satellites as well. The mission also aims to shed light on the dynamics of several other solar phenomena by imaging and measuring particles in the sun's upper atmosphere. The ambitious mission too shows how India has been steadily matching the achievements of established space-faring powers, all this at a fraction of their cost. And for the latest on this, our senior correspondent Sidhan MP sent this report. India's Aditya L1 craft, the maiden sun study mission of the country, has reached its destination, which is about 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. This is also just about 1% of the 150 million kilometer distance between the Earth and Sun. So now that the craft has been successfully inserted into what is known as a halo orbit, which is kind of a stable orbit, which is balanced by both the gravity of the Earth and Sun. So it's essentially a fuel efficient place to be in. And every now and then, periodically, Israel will have to just steer the craft in the right direction to to ensure that it stays on track. What will happen in the coming hours and coming days is that ISRO will start testing the equipment on board. One by one, the equipment on board will be tested and calibrated to see how well they can study the sun as intended. And thereafter, the science data collection will begin. And as the science data collection happens, they'll also be sent back to Earth. And the project investigators or principal investigators, the scientists and the researchers will start studying this data. That's when gradually new science can emerge about our understanding about the sun. And that will also help not just the Indian scientific community but the global scientific community where there is a lot of curiosity to understand about the sun and its evolution and its phenomena. ISRO's Aditya L1 is not the only craft at the L1 point. There's at least four crafts and ISRO's craft is the fifth. The other crafts belong to NASA, the US Space Agency and also the European Space Agency. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.